guys, Delphine here. I thought I would do a video of the hermit crabs since I've got a couple requests for these guys and I was just about to feed them here. So I'll just film them while I feed them. Um, so the two that I have out right now that are running around and aren't um, either molting or rotting or otherwise, I'm never quite sure anymore. But these guys have been going strong for a couple months now. Um, I got them before I left and they've obviously made it this far. So this guy, I named him Bruiser. Um, I adopted him from Petco because he was always climbing up the hermit crab cage and sort of sitting, clinging to the vents, doing his own thing. I just really liked him, so I brought him home. He's gonna crawl around there a little bit. And then the second guy here, um, was also kind of a fighter that I got from Petco. This is Cerulean. Set him down so we can go explore. They disappear so fast. There they are. But yeah, I'm gonna put these guys in here for now so I don't lose track of them. There's lots of nook and crannies as I found out the hard way that both hermit crabs and lizards love to crawl up in and never come out. So these guys get along very well. Uh, every now and again, Bruiser will kind of, you know, come at Cerulean and harass him a little bit, but he never rips off any limbs or does anything damaging. Um, he's really, he's really quite a chill hermit crab. Cerulean's a little bit uh, of a handful, but he's got a little, got a little paper stuck to there, bud. You good? So it'll just chill here for now. I'm gonna get their food ready here. I got all sorts of stuff for the norm uh, as potential food. All right. So today I'm thinking I'll give them a little of this. It's kind of a mixed food mixed bag kind of food. It's got, um, you know, cod, shrimp, salmon, lots of different proteins in here, but it's also got like alfalfa, a bladder rack, the um, seaweed, moss, lots of good stuff. That's an overall, overall pretty good food. These guys are being silly over here. <laughs> and as soon as they start filming them, they decide to freeze out. That's typical. They like talking. So I'm gonna go ahead and give them some food here. Boom, movie magic, there's food. These guys are fooling around again. <sighs> Bruiser's not having any of Cerulean. Cerulean doesn't really have a, you know, personal space, uh, you know, awareness. And Bruiser's not having it. You see, he's trying to get in the corner, and Bruiser's just trying to sit still. And everyone's having a problem. If you do that, everyone's happy. Alright, so we'll go ahead and feed these guys. Setup hasn't changed much. It's got a few things that I don't know if I've shown you or not. Uh, we have some different uh, wood in here. Uh, we have some cork bark. Um, this stuff not only does it help maintain uh, humidity, but they like to eat this, so that's why I keep that in there. It creates little climbs and stuff, and then it's also good for them to munch on. And I don't, I don't remember what kind of wood this is, but they eat that too. They've munched on that a couple times. And of course we got our extra shells here. As you can see, uh, Bruiser took one of the shells that I provided for him, and then Cerulean actually took Bruiser's old shell. A cerulean came in that shell there. So yeah, they're having a great time. Humidity's dropping now that I left the tank lid off there, but I will spray it down here in a sec. I'm just gonna put these guys back. Yeah, one last look. Cerulean. He's trying to grip onto my thumb there, and that's not working out for either of us. And then 
loser here. Real sweet crab, like I said. A little bit shy, but he's really good with other crabs. Especially tiny little baby crabs. Yeah, and they, for everyone concerned, they do have two bowls of water, salt water and fresh water. And they have molted both of them in each other's presence successfully. No missing limbs, no problems. So these guys are really good together. That's why I'm hesitant to add anything else to the tank because they're doing great. As you can see there, bruiser starting to munch. I threw some of the uh, hermit crab treat in there. It's kind of a powdery treat that you can mix up to something of a paste. I just threw it in there in powder form. He seems to be munching on that. Cerulean, as always, is a little bit distracted from, you know, the main purpose of life, and he's just kind of exploring around there. Yeah, we'll look here at Bruiser. I think he sort of noticed me watching him. Alright, so that's been a quick update of the crabs. I say quick because it's under 10 minutes. That's my new definition of quick. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any other suggestions of what kind of videos you want to see, feel free to comment below. Um, I'm checking comments as often as I can now. I get email alerts and straight alerts from my YouTube app on my phone. Uh, so that makes it easy to keep track of new comments and reply to them. So yeah, feel free to comment if there's anything you'd like to see. I hope you guys like Bruiser and Cerulean. They are really good crabs, and so far um, they've been really good together, which is great. It's difficult to find crabs that can work together well, and these guys um, are absolute perfect little housemates. Alright, so thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe to see more videos here. I'm going to spray these guys down, close them back up.